Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel, or the wrecking yard to be more specific. Today, we're just, on this video, we're just going to mess around and button up some stuff on this truck and do some, get some stuff off the punch list to have it pretty much done and ready. So first, here we go. Let's start off with a little looby dooby action. I'll tell you what darn piece of trash next we move on to uh getting the oil supply line for the blower out of trouble under the truck you, you will go on there there piece of trash after that little thing we climbed under and spot welded the spacers on our uh traction bars Piece of trash. Once that was done, it was time to fix a brake line we left loose under there last year. Darn piece of crap. Freaking brake line. Oh, there. I got it. Piece of trash. So that's what we've done so far. And then, of course, let me show you this. Hit me shaft seal, decided to take a dump. Uh, yeah, it's leaking out fast she poured in. I was planning on doing a video on replacing that because I've never done it. So I figured I'd do a video and let y'all see me screw it up. <clears throat> but I ordered stuff Wednesday. Today is Sunday. I still don't have the stuff and it's supposed to be here the next morning. Piece of trash. So now we're up to here. Uh, let me turn you around. Okay, if y'all don't remember, this right here, Damien, first responder, he uh, boost referenced his carburetor while we was at the track. And that line is just sitting in there. That's the reason it's zip tied right here. So I guarantee you it's leaking vacuum. I'm fixing to take some black ultra here. And I mean, just cram it full. I don't know if you can see it in there, sir, but there's a cavity so you can just cram it full and just create a gasket all the way around it. And I want to get this hose, this line, instead of sitting up here, I want it down here where it goes under everything and I can attach it to that little arm that's sticking out there for the EGR. And all will be good. So let me get my plan together and we'll caulk this up together. Okay, so here we go. Let me get that out of the way for right now. Yeah, I loosened this up a minute ago. There, so we can scoot her down. Yeah, like right there. That'd be better, don't y'all think? That thing's tighter than I thought it was, but we still gonna squirt some of this around. plug it for a minute. Yeah. That'd work. Now all I gotta do is go get a screwdriver and kind of push it around a little bit. But there is one little problem I didn't like solved. Right? I gotta get a piece of vacuum line. This vacuum line is leaking too. Alright. There's that problem. So now, the way it stands, all we like under the hood is I need to replace the power valve. Just, just want to do it. Make sure it's got the right size in there. That coil has got to be replaced. And this vacuum line hose has got to be replaced. And I think we're done under the hood. Just got to get that pitman arm, pitman shaft seal. So next, I think what I'm going to do is these front tires are a lot taller than them tires 
So we're gonna take them tires and put them on the back and switch them around. And while I got that front tire off, I can grease that upper ball joint. Here we go. Well, there's another thing off the list. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference in it, but standing here you can. So that's one thing off the list. And then a uh, piece of trash. <sighs> okay, guys, looks like we're done out here for the moment till we can get that Pittman seal, you know, that Pittman chef seal. So now let's move our way on to the inside. What do we got on the inside, you may ask? Here we go. Okay, as y'all know, gotta have a neutral safety switch to go racing. This does not have a neutral safety switch because we took it and disconnected all this. So we do have a limit switch here. On, off, on, off. So we're gonna sit down here and try to mock up and figure out what we need to mount this under there. Where every time it's in park, it's off. Or, wait a minute. No, I mean, that's, Y'all get what's going on here in a minute. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, like I said, we're just gonna try to see what we need to put this in here. Uh, I don't know, that's gonna be kind of tough. I don't know if it'll go under the boot. What's more important, the boot or the switch? But you see what I'm going for. It, this is when it, it's cut off, the circuit is, that's on. So if I can just set this under there to where it's off and put a block under it, all right? And hold it up and then just run some wires, drill a hole, come up under the dash instead of running it in the car. I would put it under the car, but this is not made for outside use. But leave a comment and tell me if you I find something, if you know something simpler. Simpler. All I'm going to do is take and cut it into the, splice into under the dash the uh, solenoid wire. All right, so as long as it's off or on, sorry, it's got power to the solenoid. If it, you know, if it, this is not in, in park, it's not, it don't have power. There you go. I spit it out. So, we're gonna have to do some measuring. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, that's two inches. Hmm, two inches. I probably got some scrap in there. I had to round all that stuff up. But that's where we're at. We've got a push button. Damn. Well, y'all seen what was going on. But yeah, um, we got a push button start for it. We got to put that in, and I still got to have find a master on off switch. Preferably a heavy duty one that I'm not replacing every time you touch it and it breaks. But that's pretty much it that's what i've done all day today guys i was doing a little bit of work in the shop but uh that's where we're at on this old truck just finishing some odd and stuff and i get that seal kit for that uh pitman shaft i'll shoot a video on that just because i ain't never done it I might as well show you my fails so there you go all right hang on piece, piece of trash, trash. Yo guys, that's the end of this video. I know it's a short one, but uh, it's hot and I've been at this stuff pretty much all day. Let me get out of this glare. Um, anyway, y'all got the gist of what's going on. Going down that punch list, checking everything. With that, man, everybody home and safe. Watch out for the loose lug nuts, because I may have left a couple loose on this. We'll see y'all in the next one.